Your steps show determination, and your eyes curiosity. Tell me what you seek, Biko. Ah, uh, yes. I carved this many seasons ago. I hoped it would convince my beloved Kudnakal to join me for our tribe's next bonding ritual, but... I lost the totem before it could be presented. Of course, this was when I was still a female. Have you never undergone such a transformation, Egg Sibling? The Hist, in all its endless gifts, allows us to change many aspects of ourselves. Gender is but one. I highly recommend it, should you ever get the chance. If we had spoken a week ago, it would have been so. But as fate would have it, good Nakal has recently undergone a change herself. Thank you for bringing me this letter and totem. They should make fine gifts for my beloved. Oh, that's cute. I will present these gifts to Kudnakal when the next bonding ritual is announced. I simply must tweak my poem, perhaps refine my carving, and all shall be ready. Tell me more about Argonian bonding rituals. The ceremony bonds those who have chosen to lay an egg together. Many dry skins compare it to a wedding. This is not entirely accurate, of course. While there is always respect between the bonded pair, romantic feelings are not strictly necessary. So why didn't you bond with uh, Kudnakal before? I had every intention to. Days I devoted to carving, to writing just the right words. I worked outside the village, not wanting Kudnakal to see my gift before it was finished. And then, a bog bloat invaded my camp. Yeah, so you ran away. Exactly so. I had no time to carve another totem before the ceremony, and so the opportunity was lost. But thanks to your kindness, I have been given yet another chance. I erect the spine of gratitude to you, Biko. As do my future hatchlings. So what does a bonding ritual entail? Each tribe has their own traditions, but there are commonalities. A tree minder performs the ceremony before the hiss. The bonded pair are blessed with good health and vibrant fertility. And then commences the bonding, as it were. How does one choose a partner? This varies. Sometimes the decision is based on an emotional connection, other times merely a physical attraction. Some tribes even use such ceremonies to strengthen their political connections. Take the Bright Throats, for example. And yourself? Where do you want to bond with our Kudnakals? Oh, well, I simply believe we would have very becoming hatchlings. That is all. Take care.